بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students assalamu alaikum I am Yasser Hussain from Pakistan Studies Department I welcome you all here in Apsex online support program I congratulate you all on passing class 8th and now welcome to class 9th Unfortunately due to corona pandemic we were unable to start the routine classes but we will try our level best to provide you guidance online uh before delivering lecture on my today's topic i would like to introduce the subject of pakistan studies as you did not study it as a subject in your previous classes instead you are more familiar to history geography and social studies in your previous classes it is similar to those subjects but here the focus will be on pakistan only instead of uh, the whole world in pakistan studies we will discuss the history geography and social life of pakistan only You know Pakistan is our homeland and we should know everything about it. So uh it will be a very interesting subject. I hope so. This is uh, the prescribed uh, book for Pakistan studies. Uh because of lockdown maybe you haven't bought the book but no need to worry. as uh, i will share the related material here this is the syllabus for pakistan studies in total uh, you have to study four chapters these are number 1 ideological basis of pakistan number 2 making up pakistan number 3 land and environment and number 4 history of pakistan part 1 it's part 2 you will uh, study in class 10 uh, so these four chapters uh dear students you will have to note it down in your notebooks as well dear students uh, this is the board paper pattern for pakistan studies uh the paper comprises of three sections here you can see section a comprises of the mcqs of 10 marks and then section b uh consists of short questions total of 11 questions will be given out of which you will have to attempt any eight each part uh, carries uh, three marks total numbers for this section are 24 and then section c which comprises of the long questions and uh, three questions in total will be given you will have to attempt any two uh, each question carries eight marks equal total marks of this section are 16 in total the subject of pakistan studies carries uh, 50 marks and you will have to attempt all this within Two and a half hours time. Dear students, uh, now we are going to start our first topic from chapter number one, that is ideological basis of Pakistan. Uh, dear students, you know that uh, whatever we are going to do in our life, we have to set certain objectives and goals. So here we will have to first set. our objectives as well which are here first of all define the term ideology number 2 identify the major sources of ideology and number 3 describe the significance of ideology dear students uh, as you know our beautiful country came into being on 14th of August 1947 but ever you think that how pakistan was created or 
why Pakistan came into being? Think over it. Before answering this question, I will let you know about other countries as well, so that you will understand the difference. Dear students, uh, about the other countries, the question is very simple. That is, uh, do you know how the other countries emerged? Dear students, most of the countries got freedom on racial, linguistic or territorial basis. You can see on the world map that all these countries have now well-marked boundaries. These will never remain the same. In the past, most of these countries will remain part of great empires, such as the Roman Empire, the British Empire, and then that of the Ottoman Empire. With the passage of time, they got freedom on the above grounds, these racial, linguistic or territorial bases I have told you, on these bases and then spread in the world as independent countries. Our country, Pakistan, here you can see our country, Pakistan, also remained part of British Empire for a long period of time as subcontinent until it got freedom in 1947. Dear students, now recall the question about Pakistan, that how Pakistan was created. Here is the answer. You can see over here. This is the answer. But I will explain it to you some background so that you will fully understand. After the War of Independence in 1857, the Muslims of the subcontinent struggled for a separate homeland as they were not treated equally by the Britishers and the Hindu majority. During course of time, the Muslims developed an ideology. And on the basis of that ideology, Pakistan movement succeeded and Pakistan got freedom from the British Empire. It is unique because Pakistan is the only country that came into being on the basis of ideology. Uh, here I will quote another example as some people refer Israel also as an ideological state, but it's different as Israel was the result of some conspiracy by great powers of the world, while Pakistan movement was indigenous, led by the people of the land. Now, this poses another question. That is, what is meant by this ideology? Dear students, ideology is a combination of two Greek words, idea and logos. Idea mean form, pattern, thought, thinking, and logos means reason, plea, or study. Uh, for the first time, this term was used in English in 18th century after a French writer A.L.C. Tracy coined this world in the meaning of science of ideas. So uh, we can say that ideology is a science of ideas, science of ideas. Another very simple definition is ideology is a set of ideas, beliefs or values of a group of people. It can be defined uh, in many ways by different philosophers. In your book, The Definition of World Encyclopedia and George Brass were well, also given, which I will show you later on. Dear students, uh, remember that ideology is not being created by an individual. 
Actually, it is a representation of a group of people through different sources. There are uh, some of the most important sources of ideology. Number one, common religion. Number two, common race. Then common language and residency. Then common political purposes. And then common customs. Now we will uh, look at them one by one. You can see that there are different religions in the world and uh, they have their own ideologies. Religion is not only a set of worships, but uh, it has a profound impact on the whole of the social life. Every religion maintains social relations in the light of their specific ideas. For example, uh, the Europeans, the Hindus and the Muslims want to lead their lives according to their religions respectively. The next one is uh, that of a common race. Race is generally related to skin color, hair texture and eye shape like attributes. It divides the human beings into different categories. Similar race groups form common ideologies. It is quite natural that people belonging to the same race develop the sentiments of sympathy and brotherhood for each other. Racism is a strong bond which because of common ideas binds the human beings in blood-like relationship. Dear students, common language and residence is another source. Language is the means of conveying the feelings, sentiments and thoughts to others. There are about 5,000 different languages being spoken in the world today. These all help to form new ideas. Similarly, in the ways of living and harmony in the ideas depend mostly on the common territory or the residence. Common political purposes. This is another source of uh, ideology. Uh, because of common political purpose and political ideas, most of the nations of the present age try to achieve their political uh, freedom for the survival of their national life so that they may become a strong nation. So it's again a very important, uh, you can see that in many countries involved in politics in either, uh, in order to get strength, that is another source. Another important source is that of the common customs. Common customs have played a vital role in the formation and development of ideas in every age. Common customs create ideological harmony with respect to culture and thoughts. Dear students, uh, now we are going to discuss uh, the last subtopic of today's lecture and that is the significance of ideology. Uh, human beings have been sent to this world with some purpose purposeless life never gets success. The existence of the nations is reflected through their ideas. Therefore, every nation has specific goals. To achieve these goals, there is a need of ideology that leads the people in a right direction. So there are a number of uh, different significances and importance of uh, ideology 
like uh, that it is a feeling which awakens humans to progress to move forward and to fulfill their desires then ideology keeps the people united and it provides national identity students now uh, let's have a quick recap so far we have discussed about ideology sources of ideology and significance of ideology here i am sharing uh, the pages of the book so far we have covered this is page 1 uh, where we have discussed the background of the emergence of the pakistan then second page and here that earlier i have told you that uh, ideologies definitions given in your book especially that of uh, one i am going to uh, just uh, read from here there is a world encyclopedia's definition ideology is a set of political and cultural principles on which a nation or civilization is based the other one is uh, by george prass and that is any plan or program of common life based upon thinking and philosophy is called ideology so uh, the other ones on this page that uh, i am just recapping it that sources of ideology just common religion common race common language and residency and then common political purposes one more is that of the common customs <clears throat> and last but not the least that of the significance of the ideology which uh, we have already discussed in detail students now uh, is the time for the task for you people regarding this lecture and that is uh, you will have to read and highlight the important things definitions concepts in these three pages in the book and then uh, you will have to answer the following four short questions i am giving over here uh, you will have to write the answers in the notebooks uh, i hope you have uh, got the notebooks that is a single lined a large notebook you will have to use the questions are number 1 what is meant by ideology number 2 how world encyclopedia define the term ideology define ideology in the words of george brass and the fourth one name the sources of ideology in the end i would like to thank you for listening me May Allah bless you all and protect all of us from the pandemic COVID-19 and return us to normal life soon. Amin. Allah Hafiz.